Hey guys, Joe here. So, of course, I'm in the car. Uh, so, if you're not used to these videos, I'm pretty much always in the car when I do this stuff, just because that's when I have the time. So, uh, today or right now, I'm actually heading to the sign shop and I am picking up some last minute signs for the uh, fence conference, the jackpot uh, convention in Atlantic City. And that setup is for tomorrow. Uh, so, if you're going to be there, uh, give me a call. Um, or text 856-595-4553 and we can set up a time to meet either while I'm setting up the display or um, you know at the cocktail hour you know whatever uh, so I'll be there with uh, Leon helping me get set up it's our first time pretty excited um, we got the display finished up today and uh, feeling kind of pumped to be honest with you so anyway um, so I wanted to talk about the ways that we try to make your life as easy as possible. So uh, I've had a few conversations today with new contractors, which is awesome. And so, you know, what I realized is that, um, you know, with Deford Fence, which again, we are in the process of selling, working on uh, with a broker and basically have had, um, you know, since last week, we probably had like four different meetings at this point. I have one set up for... Uh, Monday as well. So hopefully it gets sold soon. So that way I'm not a competitor for your business if you are concerned about that. I personally never was, but I understand why uh, contractors are. The other reason for selling it is because I, you know, I can't really split my tension uh, between two things. Like you can't be ha half pregnant is the way I look at it. And I, honestly, I just love this so much more. Like I literally love it. My wife loves it. We love working with the contractor. We love building those long uh, lasting relationships. It's a lot of fun for us. So uh, how do we make your life easier? Why do we focus on that? Okay, so a lot of suppliers, I'm not gonna go in and bash people, but like, you know, as a fence company, you know, we dealt with suppliers for the last, you know, six and seven years. And um, there was a lot of things I wish they would have done um, that they either couldn't or wouldn't do. And uh, so I'm trying to kind of fix that, right? And I understand why they couldn't or wouldn't, um, you know, when you're that big, you know, it, it, it's tough, right? Whereas we're kind of small and at this point we're nimble, right? And, uh, you know, we're still trying to find our way. We're still trying to figure out like what people really want and need and like that kind of thing. But anyway, making your life easy. The reason why we're doing this is because, you know, with Deford Fence, you know, we built it pretty big. We had uh, several staff in, on hand. So like, for, honestly, for me day to day, I was only, you know, maybe two to three hours, like a week, maybe an hour a day max, right? And the reason for that is one, we had staff in place. And the other reason is I really didn't enjoy it. So, uh, so that's why that happened. But a lot of contractors, you know, if you are the owner and you're answering all the phone calls, emails, you have to go out to estimates, you have to uh, do the quotes, you have to install, like, or you have crews and you have to check up on your crews, like you're really freaking busy, right? So that's where we look and it's like, what can we do to help you out? So, uh, one of the first ways is like getting quotes. Okay. So everyone's different. Everyone prefers a different way of, um, you know, sending in quotes. Um, but suppliers are usually pretty rigid. Okay. So what we do is you can basically call it in, you can text it in, or you can email it in. Okay. So, and as far as that, as far as sending the order in, you can do that a few ways as well. So you can, um, basically some people send us exactly what they need. Other people will uh, basically send us a drawing and we'll figure that out for you, okay? So either way is fine with us. Now, uh, so that's like as far as sending in the, uh, the, quote, the orders, right? Or doing quotes. That's the other thing, like we'll quote your jobs. Like we don't, that's fine. And so as far as the quoting process, right? The way we can make your life easier with that is um, we have a few tools. We have a GPS program as well as a, um, more of a basic where you just enter the measurements in kind of program, right? Either way, whether you use the GPS or you enter in the measurements, it literally will take you about 90 seconds. And once you have the measurements in there, whether you draw it with the GPS program or enter the physical measurements in, it will figure out how many posts, how many panels, how many gates you need, and then it will tell you what the materials will cost, okay? Uh, now with like any other kind of program, especially when it comes to pricing, you do wanna double check it, uh, but for the most part, it's pretty accurate. Um, the only time that it's a little uh, wonky is, uh, you know, some, you'll see like the cut sections. So it'll tell you like you have, you know, a 90, uh, 90 inch cut section, a 50 inch cut section. 
Then you might have a few where it's only like a two inch cut section. You probably don't really need that cut section in there, right? So you would take that out and then it will also, you would take out the, you know, the post, right? So it might overcharge by an extra post and depending on how, like how the cut sections are, it might've added an extra section, which you might need to remove. So uh, we make your life easier that way. And I'm trying to think what else we do to make your life easier. Um, ba -ba -ba oh, so uh, this is really saving time, but like it makes your life easier. So it's less stress as well. Um, so as far as the whole um, pickup uh, process, delivery process, things of that nature. Um, so basically you can call the day ahead of time. We'll have it ready for you next day. And then if you want delivery, it's usually about two to three days. So now obviously in the spring and the summer like that's going to be a little bit different so it'll be maybe a little bit longer maybe pick up in a day or two days and then maybe delivery within like um you know probably three to four days maybe i'm not quite sure how that's going to work out what i do know is that we will basically be adding uh trucks and more staff so that way as it gets busier we can accommodate that uh level as well uh one thing we will not do is we're not going to promise you something you know basically over promise under deliver if anything we're going to under promise over deliver um just because we do know what it's like to run a business right so um you know before we used to have so going back to Dever fence you know before we used to have our own install crews and then eventually we moved over to um subcontractors and it ended up working out really well because what the subs needed and what we needed, they kind of aligned with each other. And if you're the company that um, doesn't want to use subs, that's perfectly fine. But what we found is, for me personally, what I found is that subcontractors, they're basically a step above regular employees, in my opinion, at least from the get go. Now this may be different if you were an all-star, um, you know, manager, business owner, you know, et cetera, where you can constantly work with and develop your crews. Now for me, I was not that person back then, right? And so it, it didn't work out as well. We had constant issues, call outs, and just moving slow, and you know, complaining, and excuses, and you get the idea, right? Whereas what we found with the uh, subcontractors is basically they, um, you know, they were a step above employees because they wanted to make more money. You know, they wanted a little bit more responsibility, but they didn't really want to be an owner. Or there was guys that, you know, end up starting an offense company and are like, oh my God, I didn't realize how much work this is. And then you're like, you know what? This doesn't make any sense. I want to just do sub work. So that way I just have to go out and install the fence. Like, I just want to do what I enjoy doing, right? and you know have someone else book the job go out to quotes and all that kind of stuff so it was a very like symbiotic relationship and i look at that as the same thing as the um the suppliers and the contractors that buy from them it is our job to make your life easy it is our job to figure out how to help you out in my opinion because at the end of the day the more successful that you are the more successful that we're going to be it's literally hand in hand right um, so that's why we do a lot of the things we do. Now, uh, like I talked about in the other video, um, basically my job within the company is one, uh, you know, obviously to oversee, you know, the business, um, but it's also more the big picture, you know, planning out where we're going to be in the next, you know, three, five, ten, you know, plus years, and kind of working towards that, doing the hiring and like things of that nature, putting people in uh, where they, uh, you know, the place that they need to be, um, you know, that kind of thing. But the other thing that I do, um, and that's actually the most fun part of my day, because uh, I just enjoy it, is um, working with contractors, right? Um, so even if you currently don't order from us, obviously I would love for you to uh, order from us. And no, we are not the you know the jealous girlfriend that you know you have to spend all your time with us. Like we uh, we understand. Like when we had a f like with Deford Fence, we had several suppliers. You know we um, we did uh, vinyl at one place, we did aluminum at another place, we did wood, wood from a place, and then we would split up the chain link depending on the size job between like two different companies. It's just what we did. It worked out really well, um, and for a few reasons. Um, you know, as far as the wood, I would highly suggest using Blue Anchor Fence, me personally, right? The reason why I recommend them is because they are a family-owned business. Um, the owner, you know, of Ray is awesome, like awesome. I, I think at this point he's in his 80s, but he's literally still out in the yard making fence. They are super nice people. That's the reason why we use them, right? because we like surrounding ourselves with good people. 
So that's what we personally do. Now, do you have to do it? No, but um, we just like them for that reason. The other reason is because of COVID. If it taught us anything is you should not have all your eggs in one basket, right? Because there were supply issues, people were running out of shit left and right, and it just was a nightmare situation. Um, so that's where we were thankful to split things up as well. Luckily, we were a big company at the time, so that way, um, you know, they took care of us first. But what I do know is that when I was first starting out, suppliers didn't give me any time of the day, right? The reason for that is, in the beginning, I wasn't worth their time, right? In the beginning, you have a lot of questions. In the beginning, you don't have a lot of orders, right? So it's like all this energy and effort put out for very little return, right? Well, we don't do that, right? Everyone, uh, it's one of our core values when the, within the company is for customer service. And that uh, the saying for that is treat everyone as if they're a million dollar account, right? And the reason for that is because I know how it feels. I hated that I had to basically beg for like suppliers to get back to me. Like there were so many times I was ordering like shit from like Home Depot and Lowe's. And the reason for it is because I couldn't get a supplier to reach back out to me. So we don't do that. We will give you the time of day. Stop in, I will love to talk to you because it's my favorite part of the day. Love talking to people. Well, let me correct that. I don't love talking to people. I love talking to contractors about business. That's what I love doing. So. Um, the normal like chat, like it's really not for me. Um, I'm very, um, uh, I wouldn't say antisocial, um, but I am not an extrovert. I'm, a, I'm an introvert, right? But here I am doing videos, which I've been doing this for a while. So like, I, I don't know, crazy. I'm, I got issues. Um, but yeah, I love talking to people, um, well, business owners, but put me in a party setting with other, you know, homeowners and, you know, just regular people or people from uh, like my son's school and stuff like that. I have no idea what the hell to talk about. But if you want to talk about business, I'm here for like three hours, like without any issue whatsoever. Um, so anyway, that's really about it in a nutshell. I started with how do we make your life easier? Of course, I go into the other things, but like that's what I normally do. Um, it's very ADD-ish, I know, um, and that's just how it works. The great thing about the, our setup within the company, last thing before I go, is that you know my wife really balances me out. She is four foot eleven, Italian and OCD, and she is—I would say she's crazy, right? Uh, I can say that at this point um, after being married for like 20 years and um, she's nuts, right? The benefit is she is very organized, she is very meticulous and uh, she is entertaining to say the least, right? You have no idea, like just stop in and you'll understand what I'm saying. Um, or talk to her on the phone and she loves talking to people, loves every minute of it. So, and she will literally talk to a wall. So. Um, she would be your main contact and uh, that's about it. So anyway, if you're gonna be down, you're probably not watching, but that's okay. Um, if you're gonna be down in AC uh, tomorrow and Saturday, um, text, call, email, whatever, uh, if it's gonna be tomorrow on Friday. And then Saturday, we will be there from nine to four. It's gonna be myself, my wife, and then it's got two of my uh, production team uh, members. We got Leon and Miguel. So um, I figured it'd be nice to bring them down to kind of see everything. And then um, also for them to interact with everyone, um, see what's going on. So, cause they're part of the business. They're one, you know, they're one of the three that really helped start the uh, business uh, between myself, uh, Leon, Miguel, and then there was Lydia as well, while Maria manned the Defer defense. Um, but yeah, about it. So anyway, again, hope to see you. And if you can't make it, that's fine. Uh, let me know and we can set up a time to meet at my place, meet at your place, whatever floats your boat. So anyway, have an awesome night. See ya.